Hi everyone, alright so I've released a brand new product, it's 50 Tileable Roughness Maps Part 2. If you guys didn't know, Part 1 is basically my best selling product on Gumroad. It's helped so many people add a lot more realism onto their 3D models. So I wanted to make a Part 2 just to create some more maps for you guys to use. But what's really awesome about Part 2 is that you guys are going to get the resources and you're going to get some tutorials. So instead of me just giving you these resources, I'm actually going to be showing you how to create your own. So I'll be showing you how to do that in the real world using a camera and then tiling that with a program called Substance Alchemist and then we'll also be making some maps procedurally with Substance Designer so you guys are getting the best of both worlds you can either just use the resources immediately in your 3D projects or if you want to take it a little bit step further and build your own library you can equip yourself with the knowledge and actually use these programs to create your own surface imperfections. So for those of you still wondering what a surface imperfection map is, this is going to be a good demonstration. So as you can see in this video over here with this helmet, you can see how the surface looks with the roughness turned off. So no surface imperfection, we get a really clean looking surface that tends to look very CG. But by adding some surface imperfection or a roughness map onto the surface, we break up the specular highlights and we add some more realism onto our material. Because we know that in the real world, there's honestly no surface that doesn't have some type of surface imperfection perfection on it. Whether it's fingerprints or smudges, the surface imperfection maps are definitely going to help to push closer towards realism within the 3D realm. So that's why I've created these maps just to help you guys create better looking materials that look a lot more realistic. So in part two, there are five categories. I've basically taken some of the most popular categories from part one and just created some more maps. And all of these maps have been created procedurally. So they're all computer generated with Substance Designer. So we've got the dirty, damaged and stained category. We've got an experimental category, which is completely brand new. So the maps that are created in this category are maps that you would never be able to recreate within reality. So they are very experimental and artistic. I want you guys to get creative and see how you can actually use this. And you can also use the maps as a bump, a bump map. So some of these experimental maps could even create these very strange looking terrains. So go ahead, have fun with the experimental maps. Then we've got a fine dust category. I just want to create some more dust maps. We've got a fingerprints and handprints. So in part one, we just had fingerprints. So I decided to expand on the fingerprints category, but also introduce some handprints, as you can see over here. And then we've got the scratches version two. So what's really awesome about these scratches version two and some feedback uh, that I've basically taken into consideration from part one is that people are asking for isolated scratches. So scratches that don't contain any other sort of imperfection. I've basically created that. So there's going to be isolated scratches within this category that you guys can start using. So while we're on the topic of isolated maps, here is an example of me basically combining three different categories together. So you guys can use my resources to actually create more complex maps. If you feel like you want to add some scratches onto one of these subtle dirt and smudges maps, then you're capable of doing that. And I'll show you just how quick and easy it is to do with Substance Designer, but you can also do it in Photoshop. But Substance Designer is going to give you a lot more options when it comes to actually combining maps together. So you've got that freedom to actually create more complex looking maps, which allows you to create a large variety of different maps. So you're not just getting 50 maps, you guys can turn 50 into 100. It's completely up to you what you decide on combining together. I also want to add that every single map that has been created is completely tileable and completely seamless. They've also been created at 4K resolution. They are 8-bit PNGs. So this gives you the freedom to actually scale up your UV if you want your scratches to look really big on your 3D model or reduce the size of your UV scale so that you get more scratches and more detail on your 3D model without having to worry about the map breaking and producing seams. So as I mentioned earlier, I wanted to add some additional value into this product and actually give you guys some tutorials so that you can learn how to create your own surface imperfection maps. So this is the tutorial folder. I'll just show you quickly how to set up these materials in Cinema 4D and Blender. Then I'll be going over just the methodology or just talking about uh, photo capturing roughness maps 
as opposed to doing something procedurally within Substance Designer. Talk about the pros and the cons. And then I've got a video over here that talks about the methodology of shooting roughness maps with a DSLR camera. And then the entire process of tiling that with Substance Alchemist. And then there are some procedural uh, tutorials over here showing you how to create roughness maps procedurally with Substance Designer. Like how to create procedural scratches and you'll be able to build your own library and then at the end I'll also show you how to combine maps together like I mentioned earlier to make them a lot more complex so you guys are getting quite a lot of value with this product you're getting the resources you're getting the, the tutorials and if you want to you can actually build your own library of surface imperfection maps Okay, so thank you everyone. I hope this product is going to be very useful in your design workflow. I know that I used a lot of my part one maps on a lot of my 3D models just to break up the surface of my materials, you know, just to add some surface imperfection and make it look a little bit more realistic. So I hope you guys are going to take full advantage of these maps. I know I'm definitely going to be using a lot of the part two maps going forward. And if you want to, there's also a ultimate pack if you guys don't have access to part one. So the ultimate pack basically contains everything from part Part one everything from part two all of the tutorials and some bonus content so this is a great way to support me as an independent content creator and to support this channel while getting something in return you guys can decide if you think this is going to be useful I know I find it to be really useful in my own workflow so I hope you guys really enjoy this product Right, so as always, stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials on this channel. I truly appreciate the support so much, and thank you, and goodbye.